Hello, welcome back to the kitchen table. Today on the kitchen table, this is a very cheeky little number, isn't it? Just a little shout out there for the Gypsy Lee Rosé. It's been very hot and humid here in the UK. It's been definitely a very chilled rosé. Whether this is a white Zinfandel from Lodi in California. So shout out to you guys. And I just quite like that bit of a burlesque label. I say, I almost dropped my monocle. Right, um... So, uh, yes, welcome back to the kitchen table, enough nonsense. Uh, the reason for this video is to talk about the live Flytrex live flight. There's too many lives in that sentence, isn't there? If you remember, uh, when, I did the, um, uh, when I did the review of the live and showed you what it was all about, one of the things I sort of kind of half-jokingly suggested was if I set a time and a date to fly somewhere using it, um, people from all over the world, wherever you are, whatever time zone, you could watch the trace of that flight live on an overlay in Google Maps or Google Satellite and, and see what it actually looks like. Um, and surprisingly, lots of you said, yes, you'd be up for it. And the Flytrex guys are up for it as well. So we're going to do it. So it's going to be on Saturday, the 26th of July, or if the weather's bad, the reserve date is the next day, Sunday the 27th. It's going to be um, at about three o'clock in the afternoon, which is two o'clock GMT. Um, so that should suit people uh, on the other side of the Atlantic. It should suit people in Europe and across the people. I'm sorry, Australia. I, can't, I, yeah, I tried, but I can't. I, I'm, I'm really sorry. You, if you're insomniac and in Australia, you might get it. Um, so that's going to be um, uh, 26th and, 20, and 27th is the reserve. Um, but I need you guys to vote now for where you want me to fly. Uh, you have three choices because I'm not going to just drive anywhere in the UK you tell me to. I love you dearly, my subscribers, but not that much. So um, you have the choice of three and I will put a, um, a brief overlay pit view on top of this as I describe them. So you can vote for choice number one. This is a nondescript field. It is on the edge of my hometown here. I can walk to it in less than 10 minutes, um, but it's very dull. But, you know, it's nice and open and it's the it's good. It's very convenient. So, you know, my votes for that one. Now, the second one, option two, is some water meadows down by the Thames in South Oxfordshire. Um, uh, quite a nice big open field in terms of me not getting into trouble and um, some interesting water side scenery, perhaps, for you to look at. And option three is um, uh, a 4,000 year old plus Iron Age hill fort just off the ancient trackway known as the Ridgeway, also in South Oxfordshire, uh, which has got a sort of nice terraced uh, kind of terracing where they where they had the, 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 the old palisades built in uh, and is in a fairly rural setting. So that's your three choices. Um, if you could let me know uh, by voting in the comments and you can say Field, Thames, Hill Fort. You can be worded than that if you like. I'm just helping to keep it easy. Let me know, and that is where I will fly. Um, I'll also put down in the description down there on the full version. Please read the description. I'll give you the exact date and times with the GMT, so you can go plus or minus depending on your time zone. Um, now, if you are a subscriber or and or you follow me on Google Plus, I will be able to quite easily notify you on Saturday morning that the weather's rubbish and it's not going to happen. If you are not a subscriber, keep an eye on the channel. I will do a very quick video to say go or no go on the sort of that morning or lunchtime. We have the reserve for the next day at the same time. If it's a whole wipeout of weather, then we'll just cancel it and we'll try and do it again uh, for the following weekend. But that's the idea. The Flytrex guys are primed and ready. They've been, you know, making their servers pump iron and take unregistered pharmaceutical products to beef them up. Uh, and they're quite happy with, with that as a, as a concept. Um, and yeah, so you'll be able to watch me fly live. You'll be able to see what the live data stream on a Flytrex Live looks like. Uh, it, as some have asked, is it jerky? Is it, do you see like a step every 10 seconds? No, it's pretty much as is, real time. It 
the little dot moves around it's pretty cool um obviously you know we'll see how the servers hold up but the um the fly tricks boys as ever very confident and so they should be uh, it's all working out so far. So there we go. That's what the plan is. Vote on your uh, uh, location you want me to fly in. Uh, read the full description for the details of when we'll be doing it. Uh, weather dependent, of course. And uh, yeah, I look forward to it. So thank you very much indeed. And um, I'll see you again soon for more nonsense back here on the kitchen table. Cheers.